Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API 570 Piping Inspection Code. In service inspection, rating, repair, and alteration of piping systems. In this lecture, we will discuss Clause 3, Terms, Definitions, Acronyms, and Abbreviations. This section provides an overview of the general structure of the text in Clause 3, as well as reviews of some of the important subclauses that are in the clause. The following is a list of all the sub-clauses as listed in the Table of Contents. In the following slides we highlight important information contained in Clause 3 accompanied by the sub-clauses. In service, designates a piping system that has been placed in operation as opposed to new construction, prior to being placed in service or retired. Does not include piping systems that are still under construction, or in transport to the site prior to being placed in service, or piping systems that have been retired. Piping systems that are not currently in operation, due to a temporary outage of the process, turnaround, or other maintenance activity are still considered to be in service. Inspection plan A documented set of actions and strategies detailing the scope, extent, methods, and timing of specific inspection activities in order to determine the condition of a piping system, circuit based on defined, expected damage. Testing Procedures used to determine pressure tightness, material hardness, strength, and notch toughness. Example Pressure testing, whether performed hydrostatically, pneumatically, or a combination of hydrostatic, pneumatic, or mechanical testing. Note Testing does not refer to non destructive examination using techniques such as PT, MT, etc. Authorized inspection agency defined as any of the following An owner or user of piping systems who maintains an inspection organization for activities relating only to his equipment and not for piping systems intended for sale or resale. An independent inspection organization employed by or under contract to the owner user of piping systems that are used only by the owner, user and not for sale or resale. An independent inspection organization licensed or recognized by the jurisdiction in which the piping system is used and employed by or under contract to the owner, user. Inspection organization of the jurisdiction in which the piping system is used. Inspection organization of an insurance company that is licensed or registered to write insurance for piping systems. Repair organization Any of the following An owner user of piping systems who repairs or alters his or her own equipment in accordance with a PI 570. Contractor whose qualifications are acceptable to the owner, user of piping systems and who makes repairs or alterations in accordance with API 570. Organization that is authorized by, acceptable to, or otherwise not prohibited by the jurisdiction and who makes repairs in accordance with API 570. Repair The work necessary to restore a piping system to a condition suitable for safe operation at the design conditions. The work shall be considered a repair 
any welding, cutting, or grinding operation on a pressure containing component. The requirements for re rating also shall be satisfied. If any of the restorative work results in a change to the design temperature or pressure, alteration, a physical change in any component that has design implications, affecting the pressure containing capability or flexibility of a piping system beyond the scope of its original design. The following are not considered alterations, comparable or duplicate replacements, and replacements in kind. Condition monitoring locations, CMLs, designated areas on piping systems where periodic examinations are conducted in order to assess the condition of the piping. CMLs may contain one or more examination points and utilize multiple inspection techniques that are based on the predicted damage mechanisms. Examination point, recording point, measurement point, test point. A specific location on a piping system to obtain a repeatable thickness measurement for the purpose of establishing an accurate corrosion rate. Risk-based inspection, RBI, a risk assessment and risk management process that is focused on inspection planning for piping systems for loss of containment in processing facilities, which considers both the probability of failure and consequence of failure due to materials of construction deterioration. Fitness for service evaluation, an engineering methodology whereby flaws and other deterioration, damage contained within piping systems are assessed in order to determine the structural integrity of the piping for continued service. Minimum design metal temperature MDMT Minimum allowable temperature MAT the lowest permissible metal temperature for a given material at a specified thickness based on its resistance to brittle fracture. In the case of MAT, it may be a single temperature or an envelope of allowable operating temperatures as a function of pressure. Maximum allowable working pressure, MAWP. The maximum internal pressure permitted in the piping system for continued operation at the most severe condition of coincident internal or external pressure and temperature, minimum or maximum, expected during service. It is the same as the design pressure, as defined in ASMEB 31.3 and other code sections. Pressure design thickness Minimum pipe wall thickness needed to hold the design pressure at the design temperature. Pressure design thickness does not include thickness for structural loads, corrosion allowance, or mill tolerances, and therefore should not be used as the sole determinant of structural integrity for typical process piping. Structural minimum thickness Minimum required thickness without corrosion allowance Based on the mechanical loads other than pressure that result in longitudinal stress
Minimum required thickness The thickness without corrosion allowance for each component of a piping system based on the appropriate design code calculations and code allowable stress that consider pressure, mechanical and structural loadings. The minimum required thickness is the greater value of the pressure design thickness or the structural minimum thickness. Minimum alert thickness, flag thickness. A thickness greater than the minimum required thickness that provides for early warning from which the future service life of the piping is managed through further inspection and remaining life assessment. Please note that when calculate remaining life, minimum alert thickness equals actual thickness, retirement thickness equals minimum required thickness. Soil to air interface, SAI, an area in which external corrosion may occur on partially buried pipe. The zone of the corrosion will vary depending on factors such as moisture, oxygen content of the soil, and operating temperature. The zone generally is considered to be from 12 inch below to 6 inch above the soil surface. Pipe running parallel with the soil surface that contacts the soil is included. Dead legs Components of a piping system that normally have little or no significant flow. Some examples include blanked, blinded, branches, lines with normally closed block valves, lines with one end blanked, pressurized dummy support legs, stagnant control valve bypass piping, spare pump piping, level bridles pressure relieving device inlet, an outlet header piping, pump trim bypass lines, high point vents, sample points, drains, bleeders, and instrument connections. Inspection should include profile radiography on small diameter dead legs, such as vents and drains, and scanning UT or RT on larger diameter dead legs. Review questions Question number 1. For the purposes of API 570, a piping system not currently in operation due to a process outage is considered to be Answer is A Question number 2. An example of a piping alteration is Answer is D Question number 3 Piping systems with little or no flow may be classified for inspection purposes as Answer is A. Question number 4. What is intended to be the first signal to an inspector to perform a remaining life assessment? Answer is D. Question number 5. The required thickness of a pipe shall be the greater of the pressure design thickness of the Answer is D. Question number 6. 
The corrosion that occurs at the soil-to-air interface of buried pipe systems is affected mainly by the Answer is A. Question number 7. An inspection plan is a documented set of actions and strategies detailing the scope, methods, and timing of specific inspection activities in order to determine the condition of a piping system, circuit based on what? Answer is D. Question number 8. Which of the following is not considered as testing? Answer is A. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.